That handsome man is John Ritchie. I am Rob Ellis. We are Ritchie and Rob for the Bet Parks app. If you haven't done so, you got to download the Bet Parks app. It has the absolute best. I mean, the absolute most incredible, up to date, everything that you need. I got mine. You got to get yours. John has his. Check it out. It is right there. It is right there, friends. You got to get download that bad boy for all of your betting needs and gaming needs. All right, John. So a couple things to hit here as we look forward to the Eagles taking on the, uh, the commanders here um, and the Eagles eh, roughly about an eight point favorite in this one, John, let's first start with, uh, with Washington because Washington uh, last week against Buffalo got their doors blown off. It was destruction to the point of nine sacks, five turnovers in the game. Couldn't get anything going. It looked like in the early going this season, you know, maybe they're going to surprise some people and they kind of, crash back to earth last week what are you seeing from them thus far i saw uh i saw the cream rise to the top Mm -hmm. uh last week man the bills 37 to 3 i guess it was yep they were clearly the better team i i man i saw a young quarterback in sam howell for the commanders who going through his rpo reads he you know None of them, none of them were open, you know, like, like the bills did a great job. You, you got to give the bills credit. You know, they were a little bit slow starting this season, but man, they got it in gear and uh, commanders were hurt in a lot of ways. And the commanders were hurt in some ways that I believe the Eagles can replicate mm-hmm. and have success against them. Yeah. Well, I mean, it just looks like a, the offensive line is, porous and banged up and you figure that's feeding right into this Eagles defensive line. That's been nothing short of spectacular, especially on the interior, John. I mean, this appears to be tailor made for the Eagles for Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis, Fletcher Cox, that group to eat here this week. Yeah. If, if they're going to have issues with their O line, we're, we're going to welcome that because our young D tackles are playing uh, man at such a high level. Jalen Carter is already, after three games, he is the D lineman who's getting double teamed by opposing offensive coordinators. To me, that is such a, a tip of the cap, a, a t- deference and, and just honor. Uh, man, he's good. And people recognize it. You got Fletcher Cox, single blocked next to the rookie who's double teamed yet he's pushed both of his guys all the way into the quarterback for a sack. Uh, that's pretty awesome to watch. It's been incredible. And give me your review of what, what you thought from the secondary. Like, I thought there were improvements. I mean, you know, guys like Mike Evans are going to get theirs. You know, Justin Jefferson's going to get his, you know, et cetera. But I, you know, you didn't see the communication breakdowns. I'm not saying it was perfect, but I thought there was some improvement there uh, from the secondary, certainly aided by the pass rush. There's no doubt about that. The pass rush makes everything look better. Mm -hmm. Uh, But, you know, having James Bradbury back, that's huge. He's he's an old head who's really, really smart, and he's a great communicator out there. Uh, Having Reed Blankenship back. Reed Blankenship has been, man. Yeah. Wow. He he, he is the real deal, John. He he's surprised me. Yeah. Last year, I, I felt like he was sort of going to be a, a, a fill in a, a guy who, you know, was biding time for the next safety who we were excited about because I wasn't as excited about him. He's a safety we should be excited about. He's flying around making big hits. He's making plays on balls when they're in the air, you know, he, making all sorts of interceptions during training camp, making interceptions during the regular season now. Like, he really has been uh, a jewel of a find and uh, a great a team guy as well. He's everything you're looking for. Yeah, I mean, a form tackle in space, oh. which is, you know, how hard that is for a defensive player when yeah. you don't know where they're going and, and you still make that play. And then the instincts on the pick, yeah, he, he looks like he is the, the real deal. Maybe we didn't factor that in enough when we were talking about some of the defensive breakdowns against the Vikings that he wasn't there either. So that's a, that's a big deal that he returned from that, that rib injury as well. Last one I want to ask you about John is revenge factor. And that that might be a stretch here, but Washington handed the Eagles their first loss last year uh, in week 10 in a game that was, 
there was some fluky stuff that went on, maybe some non-calls and some uncharacteristic things from the Eagles. Does that play in at all in your estimation, or is it New Year? It was the regular season. They still went to the Super Bowl. Who cares? I don't know. You can try to make it play in. I think you'd be well served to try to make it play in Mm -hmm. because uh, this commander's team is not as good as the Eagles. Use every bit of motivation you can find if you need it. Yeah. Uh, If, yeah, I, if, if I'm the team leaders, I'm talking to the young guys and saying, we can't let this, this sort of thing happen again. We need to take it out on them. We need to show them who, you know, the, the order of things. And, and <laughs> I like that. The right. order. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. That, that I think there's something to that. And mm-hmm. I would bet that there, that, that that is a discussion in the locker room as we speak, and they will use that to their benefit. You like the Eagles chances to win this one, John, do you like them in this game? I love them in yep. this game. They are, they are significantly better than, than Washington is. And, and I think they will destroy the commanders by, multiple uh multiple touchdowns we're talking double digits okay and this is uh, the beginning of a springboard to the eagles team we thought we were going to get this all season. right i like that yeah the, the point spread right around eight i'm with you i think the eagles take care of business i think they roll i think they will cover and you can jump on that on the bet parks app what you can also jump on is the 5k fuel up place any parlay with plus $5,000 odds here or greater on college or pro football games, if your parlay wins, you automatically earn an entry into a raffle for your shot at winning an incredible $5,000 gas gift card. There's no limit to how many qualifying parlays that you can place. Check out the promo page for more details. All right, John and I do it every single week, man. We look at what went down and we look ahead to what's next. And who would you rather do it with? than my guy, John Ritchie. John, you are the best, my friend. Thanks, Bert. Appreciate I'll miss that. you between now and next week. When I we appreciate that. I'll, I'll, I'll you know what? Again. Come here. Give me, give me a hug, you, you big lug. All right, that is John Ritchie. I am Rob Ellis. We are Ritchie and Rob Vet Parks. 